What's up everyone, HippoTC here, and if you have not heard, this channel is for late teens and adults. If you're under the age of 13, then you need to get the heck out of here because this channel is not for you. Now, before we jump into the video, I wanted to share a goal that I have with you. I want to become a Sea of Thieves creator partner, but to do that, I have to reach 20,000 subscribers first so if you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing and always hit that notification bell helps my channel reach the goals that I have and gets me one step closer to see if these partner so that I can keep creating content that you guys love so that being said I hope you guys like this video hey what's up everyone welcome to today's creator crew i am super excited about our guest that we have here his name if you don't know him is captain felcor and if you sh you should know him he's an amazing creator that one of the best youtube creators and just streamers out there for sea of thieves and a bunch of other content so without further ado let's just jump into this uh i see my screen you guys need to see your screen too so here it is Captain Falcor. Captain Falcor, Hello. what's up, man? Hello. <laughs> Bring me go. I didn't know where to go. I I am the gold hoarder. <laughs> We just revealed it live on stream. Captain Felcor <laughs> is the hashtag real gold hoarder. Let's make that trend on the next dev stream, everybody. <laughs> it's like me and Beard again. Me, we have that joke going on. We both do no, you guys really do hate each other. Be yeah, honest. I hate, it's hate okay. That guy. You, hate can, him. you know what? This this whole this whole episode is actually about that specific relationship. <laughs> yeah, 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 he yeah. hired me yeah. to have this conversation with you, and it's time to settle your differences. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> yeah. Pay the man yeah. his money. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> yeah. Well, we all know he's got a clip-on beard, so yeah. It's all, it's all good. Here's a good question. Silver <laughs> Surfer says, "Do you have any tips for a creator dealing with the YouTube algorithms regarding posting videos?" So, like, let, let me let's just break that down a little bit. So, you have your video made. You hmm. created an engaging thumbnail. Like me and Fuzzy kind of talked about that, but you do a great job with that. You always have the text pop. You always have certain characters kind of stand out a little bit um hmm. and the you, you throw it into the youtube to start the upload what do you do now like what do you how do you figure out the tags do you do research on the front end like what do you well, do well i mean it's it's yeah i mean you, at the end of the day youtube face it it's kind of like there's no there's no hidden remedy but there is a few things that that, that you can do to help sort of bolster yourself up and um what i've learned over my years of content creation is um tags on your videos mean absolutely nothing people, people put a lot of um a lot of work into their tags they you know they try to get things that they think people would click on if the tags are like they'll have sea of thieves ghosts um athena all these different weird things in their in their tags just to try and make people click on it but I've learned over the years that tags do nothing for you in the algorithms for your videos. It's more kind of like, that's more for the YouTube side of things. So YouTube knows where things are. It's got nothing to do with the, the, the people looking at your videos. What I've learned is, is that the first line of your description for any video, the very, very first line is the thing that will show up in search results. So if you said, if your first line was Sea of Thieves new update incoming, you were more likely to get people looking at that video when a new update comes out compared to somebody who types see if these new update in the tags um and it's also the same with your um your tight your description as well not your description your your title of the video i mean never never be afraid to flesh out your title that's one thing like never just have a few words always use as, as, as much as you can up to the capacity of the title which i think is 100 characters um and just try and flesh that out and try and make sure that you've got a lot of keywords in that title. So like, obviously Sea of Thieves. And then you want, you if, if say for example, your video is about stealing an Athena from another crew, um, you would want the title of that video to be something along, along the lines of stealing Athena from Salty crew um, slash um, Athena level 10 um, taking <laughs> loot for ourselves you know something like that so so all you've got all these tags in just in 
itself and then also description will be very similar and it's more likely to get a lot more people clicking on it because of the way the algorithm works on youtube thumbnails are also a good thing to have they really really are if you've got a more attractive looking thumbnail um more people are more likely to click on your video but then if you look at people like pewdiepie who has <laughs> Some of the most unattractive thumbnails in existence. <laughs> his own he doesn't even exist in our space, dude. He's in his <laughs> no, own, no, like... No. He's exactly, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's in his own little world, let's face it. But uh, but my, my point is, like, you know, you, you, thumbnails aren't necessarily the, the be-end and end-all of, of uh, how well your YouTube video does. It's all about the text. And people are more likely to click on your video if it's got a more attractive thumbnail. That's true. But they're more likely to click, click on your th click on your video if it's got a more elaborate and meaningful title. Um, and also, don't overdo your text on thumbnails as well. That's that's the other thing. Don't, because don't, I've seen so many people, they got a YouTube video and their entire thumbnail is like a paragraph of text. Like, <laughs> like people aren't going to read work. It. It, I need to no, change no. my strategy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking full on paragraph. Like kind of blue background with boats in it and then red impact text with just a, <laughs> it's like a full paragraph of writing like, especially when it's like you know, the size of your thumbnail hence it's called the thumbnail <laughs> but, um, all right last question last but certainly not least and then we are okay. going to wrap it up because i like to keep these to an hour so we're not taking forever um and i know your time is super busy so with that being said last question this is the biggest question of all <laughs> is the shrouded ghost real Sorry, what? The the what? The shrouded ghost, Falcor. Is it real? Shrouded, shrouded. Is that from like Resident Evil? No, 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 no. It's. I think it's in the game Sea of Thieves. Shrouded ghost. I, I no swear, idea. there's a commendation. You have to like kill it. I I think. Come no, no. I don't know about that. No. <laughs> <laughs> So there's this journal. Yeah. I'm gonna. Tell, I did this completely off stream, and just me and my buddy were recording. Because in my mind, I hope, like, I secretly hope deep down that there is a way that you can summon it if you do a <laughs> set like circums, like you do these certain steps, kind of like how we got originally with Merrick the hungering one. You had to like bring the song to a certain point. Had to wear the tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like. There's this book I read from Merrick, and it talked about a pirate that was naked dancing with a chicken on the bowsprit. Yeah, that's Beard again. I is hate that, that guy. Is that Beard? Is that Beard? It's actually, yeah, it's Beard again. Yeah, it's oh, I didn't Easter realize egg. that was his Easter egg. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I read his book apparently, and then I'm like, yeah. dude, I, Stray Chris, I want you to join <laughs> me on the sloop right now. We're going to dance naked with a chicken on the bowsprit at T26 and see if it summons the Shrouded Ghost. <laughs> So I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there with my character. He's playing so, Merrick's tune. I'm sitting there dancing <laughs> naked with a build rat dance, and dude, nothing happened. <laughs> oh, as I said uh, if if you've got the footage for that, you need to uh, give that to Beard again because he will uh, he will laugh his ass off. Oh, he, he's, he, he's actually trying to get into the Guinness Bill Guinness uh, World Book of Records um, for that because he he soloed the Megalodon whenever he first came out. Because anybody was out during the Hungering Deep. The original Megalodon was incredibly massive. difficult. Oh my yeah, gosh, that thing was massive. Was, and he soloed it on a sloop naked with the chicken on board. Um, <laughs> and I can't, I mean, I, I, I kind of remember what the encounter was like. And also I wasn't as experienced in the game back then, but I do remember having to use an extensive amount of planks uh, for that <laughs> encounter. Like over 150, I think we used on the boat. He, he attacks. He used to attack so often, like every sort of. It was not like 20 what it was. seconds. I feel no, like no, it was yeah. bigger too. I feel like he was bigger. Yeah, he was definitely bigger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you have an opportunity, go over check out Falcor. You all know who Falcor is, but if you have anything, just throw him a month of Patreon and just like help <laughs> him out. I, that means the world to creators, but especially for people who've gone full time with this stuff. Um, mm. because in a, their livelihood is that. So if you have an opportunity, throw it out that way because we don't want to see Falcor go anywhere. We want him to. We want to see him here forever. I want to see you as an old man, <laughs> completely bald, <laughs> huge ass beard, still doing dang videos on. I don't even uh, know what game we'll be playing at that base, time. Basically, uh, this. I remember back in the day, <laughs> I used to play Sea of Thieves, and it was just the first one. <laughs> This is Sea of Thieves 2. Hang on, more like that. This is Sea of Thieves 2. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. 
I love it. <laughs> <laughs>